and bring you to Article 128 of the Constitution. It reads, one, the Supreme Court shall consist of the Chief Justice and not less than nine other justices of the Supreme Court. Not less than nine. No provision for not more than. Do you share the view that as a country we need to cap and have a ceiling for the number of justices of the Supreme Court and why? Thank you, Chair. I do not think that as a country we should have a cap on the ceiling for the Supreme Court as we have in America and some other jurisdiction. Sometimes, and I believe that it is best for countries to develop conventions. Conventions are very, very, very critical. If you attempt to legislate on everything, you may run into difficulties. So where the Constitution gave us a minimum of 10 justices of the Supreme Court, we can develop a convention as we have it right now where the maximum that we have been appointing is 15. And these conventions do work so that if in the next 10 years or 15 years, a president says, I'm moving the number to 20, that president must satisfy Ghanaians and give reasons why the number which over the years, other presidents had kept at 15, should move to 20. So I think that because of the other provision, Article 131, which you had referred me to, which says that every application ought to come to the court as of right, limiting the number will create problems. Because, for instance, two of the nominees are coming from the Court of Appeal to the Supreme Court, they may have judgments that people are, will be appealing against. And when these judgments uh, are placed before the court, and they are part of a limited number over there, you see the problem which that will create. So I think that um, extending the number, or keeping the number as we have it at 15, is good for the country. 